Hey guys, John Jones here with Tuesday Morning Coffee. As I've told you guys many times before, um, I always love to learn from people that are a lot smarter than me, which isn't hard to find. Uh, but today is definitely the case. Uh, Phil Cavender with the, fi with the Cavender Financial Group is here today with us. And Phil's a good friend of mine. And uh, Phil has done some amazing things to help people uh, build wealth and also uh, he specializes in tax-free uh, uh, investments. Is that fair to say? In a nutshell, Phil, tell people kind of what you do. Well, John, mainly uh, we're managing people's, uh, I guess you'd say their money in safe money instruments, okay? Uh, 401ks, IRAs, SEPs are such a large part of what people have uh, have uh, placed their money in, so you naturally have to look at those instruments and manage those. However, my greatest, uh, I think the greatest uh, benefit that I offer really is more tax-free incomes uh, that people are not aware of, something like a, a Roth IRA right. or some other things that actually outdo a Roth. Right. And so those are the things I look at. If uh, I try to get people on the idea of tax-free retirement uh, income rather than taxable retirement incomes. I got you. In fact, um, we were just talking and pick up that book, <laughs> talking about the, the, the tax man and the IRS. Uh, Phil is a part of a group called Ed Slot's Elite IRA Advisor Group, which is, I don't even think, you're probably the only guy in Murfreesboro or maybe one of the few in Middle Tennessee that's even a part of this group. They get together uh, twice a year, twice a year mm -hmm. and they go over, just this right here is one year of tax law uh, yeah. changes, just in one year. So this guy is on top of this stuff. But what was interesting is a few weeks ago, Phil and I were having lunch, and we um, I, and, I, and I and I looked at Phil because I've been thinking about this. I said, Phil, I said, every year I'm told to put as much as I can into my IRA. I'm told to just man really pump that up. That's how you're going to get wealthy. You know, that's retirement income. And and I was thinking about it, and I said, okay, I'm taking every dime I can muster to put it in here because I'm, I'm supposedly saving taxes, you know, ta tax savings in, in this current year. But it's going to grow and it's going to grow, hopefully, <laughs> although it hasn't. And then when I pull it out at 59 and a half, I looked at Phil, I said, I'm going to be paying taxes on it. Correct? And I said, and he said, yeah, you're right, John. And I said, but Phil, I, I don't know what the tax rate's going to be then. So what, is this really smart? What do, I don't know. I'm uncertain. And he made the greatest analogy that I want to sh that I want him to share with you today, and it really it really hit home with me. <laughs> and that's about the corn. We got corn here, guys. There's a reason we got our props. Well, you know, I might uh, John add to that. It would be like uh, it would be like you with one of your clients, and they're buying a house, and they go to the bank to get the loan, and the bank uh, the banker says, uh, uh, "Sure, we'll let you borrow the money, but uh, we'll set the interest rate later on that. What yeah. it'll cost you later." It's kind of uh, unknown. Yeah, out there. I don't yeah. know that many people would be uh, be taking advantage of that. But no. uh, my point uh, about your illustration, or my illustration that I told you about a few weeks ago, was uh, uh, I compared it to uh, a four hundred one k or IRA plan uh, to a farmer who gets ready in the springtime of the year to do his spring planting. So he goes to the co-op and he goes to buy seed and the co-op manager, let's just say the co-op manager that year says, John, this year, if you want to, you can pay the, the tax over here on the, on the seed. And if you pay the tax over here on the seed, uh, then when the harvest comes in over here, all of that money will be yours tax free. Okay. On the other hand, if you want to defer the tax over here, then when this comes in at the end, you're going to be taxed on all of that money, and we don't know what the tax rate's going to be in the future. That's the deal we have with our government. And so the point there about all the tax law changes, this is the tax law change in one year. And so it's constantly changing. It's manipulated. It's kind of like Social Security when it all began. It began, if you go back and look at the tenets of how it began, it was going to be tax-free money. It was not going to, it was going to be deductible, the amount that you put in. None of those things are true today because the government makes the rules. 
it's like Gerald Ford, former president Gerald Ford, back when he was living, I had lunch with him one day in Nashville. And he, I was talking to him about what I did, and he said, just always remember this, any government big enough to give you something is a government big enough to take it all away. And I've never really forgotten that. Right. And that's certainly true, it's in, very true in 401k IRA distribution SEPs and any other qualified retirement plan where somebody's getting a deduction. There is no tax savings. Right. The terminology's wrong, and yet I hear everybody say they're gonna save taxes the terminology is wrong. They're deferring taxes. They're deferring it to a later date, and they have no idea on the grow. And right. we don't know what the rate is. It's the harvest there. The harvest. So, and then uh, you've got many people that have risk instruments. So I guess you could, in our illustration here today, you could take away half the basket right. of uh, of the harvest here because that's where a lot of people are right now. They've got half sure. of what they used to have, and yet that half hasn't been taxed yet either. Right. Wow. Right. That's interesting. That's good stuff. Phil, if somebody wanted to contact you, what would be the easy, what's your phone number out there? Uh, our phone number is, uh, of course, 615, uh, but the number is 895-7773. What about on your website? Uh, the website's uh, Cavender Financial, and uh, that's cavenderfinancial.com. Phil, thank you so much. I love your wisdom. Uh, I think it's very powerful, and I think it makes a lot of sense, and I think your clients have done pretty well over the last few years compared to most, wouldn't you say? We haven't lost a dollar of anybody's money. Well, I maybe should have found you a few years ago, but uh, <laughs> Phil, thank you, man. I appreciate you so much. You're welcome. Thank okay. you. Okay.